one. And here we are for the final of the prophets that I'm going to be talking about, that I'm writing about in my book, The Heart of Jesus, The Forgotten Prophecies. Ezekiel. Ezekiel also wrote during the 50-year Babylonian exile, and he was there. He was there in Babylon. And God said, Ezekiel, you go tell the people this. Things that he didn't want to have to say. But God said to Ezekiel, if you don't say what I tell you to say to them, then the consequences that were going to be theirs, I'm going to put on your head. Okay. The problem is, as we see in Ezekiel 6, is the wanton hearts. Those of you who escape shall remember me among the nations where they carried, where they were carried captive. How I was crushed by their wanton heart that turned away from me and their wanton eyes that turned after idols. Then they will be loathsome in their own sight for the evils that they've committed for all their abominations. How sick is your heart, says the Lord God, you, that you did all these things, the deeds of a brazen whore, adulterous wife, who receives strangers instead of her husband. You know, I'm reasonably certain the Jewish people didn't understand exactly what was going on with all this. They were just trying to get by, trying to live. Uh, but this was like the same thing with Exodus, where God was going to have a demonstration for all the nations to see for all time of what God wants in a marriage, in a marriage that is coming, folks, that is coming, so we can learn what it is that God seeks to give to us. We learn from the 11th chapter of Ezekiel what God intends to do. I will give them one heart, interesting, one heart, and put a new spirit within them. I will remove the heart of stone from their flesh and give them a heart of flesh so that they may follow my statutes and keep my ordinances and obey them. Then they shall be my people and I will be their God. But as for those whose heart goes after their detestable things and their abominations, I will bring their deeds upon their own heads, says the Lord. One heart one heart. We're close to the capstone of the whole of the message that I'm seeking to declare to you, which we'll do in phase two of Ezekiel.